Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about Oracle Rack and Oracle Rack cluster based software. So, we know all about the Rack is high availability solution provided by the Oracle. Our very, very important data, our transactional data, we are storing it into the Oracle database. And we definitely don't want our database to be shut down or our server to be shut down because of XYZ reason so that your customer will be impacted. When you go to the bank and if the bank database is down, you will not be able to open account. You will not be able to withdraw the money from the bank. It's not possible because your banking system is down. Your banking database is down. So there are some of the critical applications are there where we don't want our database to go down. In that case, we are using high availability solution provided by the Oracle. We called it as a Oracle Rack, R-A-C, real time, real application cluster. There are multiple high availability solutions are there. Among that, we have Oracle Rack. We have Data Guard is there. We have different, different solutions like Flashback is there. Many things are there. But what is this cluster where, how your Oracle works and what is the, uh, you know, how they are related to each other. That is what we are going to learn with this video. Before I start with this lecture, my humble request to you is if you think that I'm doing a great job, you don't need to do anything. Just subscribe and share this channel. And if you are looking for real time database training provided by the Ankush Tauri, Learn Nomad Technologies. You can reach out to me on my mobile number or on my email ID. I'm going to start my next batch in next week. We are just few days and we have some two vacancies are available in this batch. So let's get started and let's ab understand about the Oracle cluster way. So when we discuss about the Oracle rack, we will have a multiple node will be there. Let's say this is my first node. This is my second node. And assume that this is my third node. So we have multiple nodes are there. Node 1. So these nodes are basically your server only. Node 1, node 2, node 3. They are basically a server. And every server will have their own will have their own memory, which is basically your RAM. And it will also have their own specific CPU. Node 2 also will have their own memory own CPU node 3 also will have own memory and own CPU so this is my three node cluster which is sharing which is sharing a storage now this is my storage this is the storage and this storage is a shared one this storage is basically shared by multiple nodes. So node 1 will share the data, node 2 will share the data, node 3 will share the data. And each and every node will have your software. We called it as a grid software. Grid software and you will have your Oracle database software installed here. So grid software will be installed on node 1, node 2 and node 3 also as well as oracle softwares both the softwares these softwares will be available on each and every node but where your data is getting stored on your storage this is the storage where your data is getting stored now let's assume that user 1 is connecting from the node 1 and he want to insert some data into this node 1 so basically your data will go to this storage only so this is my table and this table is having my data. Now user 2 is connecting from the node 2 and he want to select the data from the table. From the table. So he can select the data from node 2 because node 1, node 2 and node 3 are shared. So users can connect from anywhere. User can connect from user 1, user can connect from node 1 or node 2 or node 3. He can connect from anywhere based on the load balancing features load balancing means rack have the features like where it will not keep more users on one node so let's say that you have 
10,000 users are here and here you have only two users. It is not going to happen. Your users are going to be shared among your different different node. Now by any chance if your node 1 goes down, still you have node 2 and node 3 are available through which your connection will be coming. That is why we called it as a high availability. High availability because we have three instances are running instance number one instance number two and instance number three on each node we have a three instance on every node but we'll have only one database the database is single that is a rack if you know the concept of single instance database you will have single instance single instance will be there and it will have single database single database so if your instance goes down your database goes down if your server goes down your database goes down that is a problem with the single instance but here in rack architecture we have three different nodes are there three node one node two and node three there are three different servers are there even though you have three different server node 1 node 2 and node 3 but all these three nodes are behaving like a single cluster only why it is a cluster what is mean by cluster cluster means number of people number of node are there but behaving like a single node because they are internally communicated each other they are internally communicating each other by using the private network private network they will communicate to each other so networking concept is really important in the rack so we will have different different networks are there but at this point just try to understand one thing that they are a different different servers but at the end their storage is shared their storage is shared and they are behaving like a single node by using a software we called it as a cluster software cluster clusterware software and what is the clusterware software this is basically grid software which we have installed on each and every node and that is why we need to install two date two softwares here one is a grid software and another is a oracle software very important to understand about this clusterware software and this is basically your high availability solution i hope this is clear it should be clear and if you still have any doubts question queries anything just put it in the comment section next time i'll create a video based on that again if you are looking for real-time database training you can reach out to me i'm going to start my next batch in next week we have just two vacancies available and let's get started with the new batch. thank you bye bye See you again with the next video.